How to share ExpressVPN VPN connection on Windows PC. This tutorial guide will show you how to share your Windows VPN connection. You will learn how to set up a hosted network or a virtual router through the command prompt. Note, do not connect to the ExpressVPN app when beginning this process. Contents, check if your Windows PC can support creating a virtual router. Create your virtual router. Start your virtual router. Share your virtual router. Connect to ExpressVPN. Disable your virtual router. 1. Check if your Windows PC can support creating a virtual router. Before starting, let's find out if your computer can support creating a virtual router. Type Windows and S to launch the search bar, then type CMD to bring up command prompt. Right-click command prompt and select Run as Administrator. For Windows 10, please refer to the below image. For Windows 8, please refer to the below picture instead. For earlier versions of Windows, refer to the following screenshot instead. In the command prompt, type the following, NetShare and Show Drivers. Hit Enter. If you see hosted network supported, yes, then your network adapter can create a virtual router. If you don't see this message, then you may need to update your network adapter drivers. 2. Create your virtual router. In the command prompt, type the following, NetShare and set hosted network mode equals allow SSID equals network name key equals password. Name your virtual router by setting the following values, SSID equals choose a name for your network key equals choose a password for your network hit enter. You will then see the following message, the hosted network mode has been set to allow. The SSID of the hosted network has been successfully changed. The user key passphrase of the hosted network has been successfully changed. Congratulations. You have successfully created a virtual router. 3. Start your virtual router. To start your virtual router, type the following in the command prompt, NetShare and start hosted network. Hit enter. If the virtual router starts successfully, you will see a message that says, the hosted network started. If you get a message saying the hosted network could not be started, please update your network adapter drivers. Note, do not run or connect to the ExpressVPN app on your Windows computer when preparing to share your connection. 4. Share your virtual router. In order to share your virtual router, you need to identify the name of the connection. Open the run prompt by pressing Windows and R, or by clicking the start button. Type up.cpl, then hit enter or OK. In the network connections window, you should now see your new Wi-Fi connection in your list of network adapters. The description will show the SSID name that you assigned earlier. Note the name of the connection. This example uses local area connection asterisk 5. Dot. You will need this later. Now look for a network connection with the description ExpressVPN tap adapter. This example uses Ethernet 2. Dot. Right click on it and select properties. In the properties window, click the sharing tab and check the box for allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Under home networking connection, select your newly created virtual router from the drop down menu. This is the one you identified earlier. Then click OK. 5. Connect to ExpressVPN. Launch the ExpressVPN app and connect to the server of your choice using the OpenVPN, UDP or TCP, protocol. Instructions for changing your protocol can be found below. To switch to a different protocol, click on the hamburger menu, then click Options. Make sure you're not connected to the VPN when doing this. In the Protocol tab, select the protocol you want to use, then click OK. Congratulations! Your Windows PC is now a virtual router. Now you can connect any WiFi enabled device to your new virtual router and share your VPN connection. 6. Disable your virtual router. To disable your virtual router, return to the command prompt and type the following, NetShare and stop hosted network. You will see a message that says, the hosted network stopped. This will stop and disable your virtual router. If your virtual router is no longer in the network connections window, then you have successfully disabled it.